field. Chased by Gordon on the track and wow. Did Buxton catch that ball? Oh my goodness, he did. Incredible. Cutting behind Gordon and making a tremendous catch. With a smile. Oh on my his face. goodness, that might be his best ever. First pitch swinging to shallow right center field, and Riley Green dives and makes another spectacular grab. Man, is he special, huh? Riley Green flies through the air again to take a little bloop hit away from Gio or to find play. Seems like he makes catch like that every night. It's from Bubich. Swing, grounded toward the middle to his left. Bobby Witt has it. Spins, fires to first. He got him. Good play by Bobby. Had a range far to his left. What a play! There's one of the wow moments I was telling you about. Well, he just, like he hesitated, he paused while he was in the air just to make sure that he had the aim right. He's going to get up there and just a little pause in between that turn to make sure he was accurate. That is a big league play. My ball deep into left center field. Phillips on the run. He lays out and he got it. Phillips, an unbelievable grab in left center field to take an extra base hit away from Trevor Storm. Oh, what a catch by Phillips out there in center field, racing toward left center. Two zero pitch, Suzuki gets a hold of one. Back that goes, off the wall and left center and a good ricochet for Seiya, heading for third. They're gonna wave him in. Suzuki heads for home, the throw to the plate, not in time. Seiya Suzuki touches them all. And the Cubs grab a 2-1 lead off of Josh Hader. Oh man, was that fun. Just spectacular. Suzuki fresh off the IL, gets into a hater fastball and plays a little pinball with the center field wall. High fly ball, right field and deep. Going back judge, he's on the track, he's at the wall, he leaps and he makes the play. <laughs> oh, what a play by Aaron Judge. What a highlight reel he's putting together this year. You see the snow cone at the top of his glove? You know, Judge may have just robbed Melendez of a home run. It helps to have a right field in the 6 7. Kimball delivers. Fly ball, right field, headed toward the corner. Long run from Betts, and he makes a diving catch to end the game. Mookie Betts with the game winning three run home run in the bottom of the eighth. Saves the game in the ninth with a diving catch, Robin Peterson to end the game. Nine to six. Mookie Betts, the Dodgers. Boy, when you're hot, you're hot. They've now won five consecutive games. Here's Goldie. Dan, you've had far too much time to be sitting on this 299 call. Oh, I haven't either. Looking for 300. The 2 0. -oh. Out to deep left. And it's number. Number 300, the 153rd member of the 300 Home Run Club. The 10th active player to get to 300. And he's now the sixth to get to 300 in a Cardinals uniform. I don't remember seeing a guy this big, this young, with that kind of body control, where it's constant quality stuff and strikes. Diaz bounces out. Did you guys see Mason Wynn's arm right now? Oh, he was a legit prospect as a pitcher. And his, his arm, when he gets to the big leagues, he might be challenging O'Neill Cruz. His oh arm is my. a cannon. Now Riley Green at the plate. Fly ball center field. Taylor going back. Still going back. That ball's out of the air. Riley Green wins it. First home run as a major leaguer is a walk-off winner. Riley Green. First career home run is a walk-off bomb to center field. Tigers beat the Royals on the walk-off from Riley Green, four to three.
Over the mound, tough play. Who's going to get it? McNeil with the bare hand. One hopper grab by Alonso. They get him. Oh, wow. Beautiful play on both ends by McNeil and Alonso to get LeMayhew. Jeff McNeil charging that ball that was hit softly on a bounce by LeMayhew over the mound in front of second base, using all of his momentum to make that throw. An outstanding play to retire LeMayhew. That ball is hammered to left center field. Goodbye. Two run shot. Tie game. Right up to where he used to sit as a kid coming to games here at Dodger Stadium. Oh my goodness, he crushed it. John Carlos Stanton deep into the pavilion in left center field. And the American League with one swing has tied it up. Line down the left field side and a leaping catch by Gamble. Ben Gamble. I don't know, there's an outfielder that leaves his feet as often as Ben Gamble sometimes necessary sometimes not but that was fun to watch that was one heck of a play right there i didn't think he can get it because this ball was crushed hey dylan i just want to let you know that dylan carlson's about to be the next hitter first three guys three guys in front of you just hit home runs no pressure though no pressure indeed carlson makes it four in a row way out of here four consecutive home runs for st louis Tapia up for the third time. Sends a drive to deep center, but where is it? And it's over, way over the head of Duran, who never saw it. He never saw it. Tapia round third, heading home. And inside the park, grand slam for Rymel Tapia. Raise your hand if you think you were deked by the center fielder. <laughs> He's got the field going right now. Two quick outs to start this half of the second inning. Oh, and he struck him out. Immaculate. Struck out the side in order right there and did not throw many pitches. That's an immaculate inning right there, Terry. Nine pitches, nine strikes. Yes. Inning over. Boy, he's had a no-hitter this season and now an immaculate inning. In the air to right. Low will drift back. Low doesn't see it. Low lost the ball. Here comes Hayes. Trey's going to go to third. Trey's going to be where it's home. Here comes Mancini. He is safe. 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 A fairy tale has come to life. Well, I can tell you this, if it's his last home at bat, it will be one he will never, ever forget. And neither will the fans here in Baltimore. That's swatted up the middle. Spear with a backhand by Jimenez. What a play The turn two. Jimenez, Anderson on to first. A sparkling double play. Holy cow. Man. Jimenez on the backhand. Gobbled it up, flipped it behind his back to Tim Anderson, who stepped on second, fired offline to Guerrero, who put the tag on Machado, and it goes 4 6 3. Holy cow. LeMay was in high and deep to left center field. This is Christ. Long run for Jackie on the go, and he made the catch. He came out of nowhere. How did he ever do that? He looked like he had no chance to get there, and he grabbed it in front of the Red Sox bullpen and somehow managed to avoid crashing into the wall. Well, he did it with his usual great jump, and he did it with excellent speed. In the center from Connor Falefa, Mullen's got a good jump. He will collide with Mateo, and Mateo caught it ridiculously. What a play by Jorge Mateo. Mullins went into a slide. It went off the glove, up into the air for Jorge Mateo, and Mateo reeled it in and somehow held on. 
Tied at 18. And another one to see. I think he did it. I think he went to 19. I really believe. If not, this is 20, as a matter of fact. He keeps going. He's down on the knee. He's got it. That is flipped sky high. And Juan Soto is your 2022 Home Run Derby champion. And he wanted to be darn sure of it. It stays in the National League East. The Nationals celebrating with Juan Soto here at Dodger Stadium. What a show put on by these young hitters. The future is bright when it comes to power here in Major League Baseball. This one is lifted down the left field line into the A's bullpen. Josh Smith, long way to run, and what a play by Josh Smith. Now, Nick Allen will tag and score easily, but for a guy who was making just his second start in left field in his career at any level, that was an incredible play by Josh Smith. He did make the catch. What a play by Josh Smith. Are you kidding me with that catch? Smith just sacrificed his body racing through the Oakland bullpen and making a diving catch. Big pitch at 2-0. That is a home run. That is Julio Rodriguez. A two-run shot the Mariners have. A 4-0 lead. Hey now for Julio. My goodness, 15th home run. RBI 42-43. Listen to these Mariner fans here in San Diego. Julio Rodriguez, a two-run homer, his 15th of the year, and he is the fastest player in history to 15 career homers and 20 stolen bases. High fly right center. Buxton chasing it. Making the catch at the wall. They've got a possible triple play. There's two. Now a throw to first will be a triple play. Byron Buxton catching it at the wall, and there will be three outs at the end of all this. The White Sox implode as they run themselves all over the field. Adam Engel was running. Yohan Moncada was running. They forgot that the best center fielder on the planet is in the game. Byron Buxton caught that ball in right center field. He gloved it, and the White Sox at that point had two runners near third base. And the White Sox run themselves out of a potential game-changing inning. He hits one today and gets to 200. He will get to that number faster than anyone in big league history except for Ryan Howard. High drive, right field. Melendez back on the track. See ya! There's 200. Another home run for Aaron Judge. Number 42, RBI 90, 91. Amazing. Aaron Judge hits career home run number 200, number 42 on the season. He has more home runs than Ruth, Maris, or Mantle ever had before the beginning of August.